In this lesson, I'll show how to take a round trip from 3ds Max to Mudbox and back. So we can take models out and either sculpt them and create normal maps or paint them and bring back a more detailed texture. As an example, I'll use the Eco here. Let's say that we need several of them and I'd like to bring them into Mudbox for a quick repaint. I'll select the object, which is already unwrapped, and under the 3ds Max icon, choose Send To, Send to Mudbox, and I'm going to send it as a new scene in this case. As you can see, 3ds Max sent the model to Mudbox via FBX, called it up, and loaded up Mudbox, and there's the model ready for painting. Now he actually came in, if I select him here, with his original color. And I can use that, I can change it, I can paint over it, or I can take it off. I'll just do a little paint and bring it back. I'll go in Mudbox down in the bottom to my paintbrush, and I'll pick a slightly different color. Let's say for this one he's got a little more red over him. I'll pick a deep red-orange and start to paint. I can add a little red on the belly and so forth fairly easily. As an alternate, I can take the file that came in and right-click on it and choose Delete Selected. Now he has actually no material and is ready to paint. When I click on him to paint, it asks, what would I like to do and where am I going to put this new map? Diffuse, specular, gloss, and so forth. I'm going to make a diffuse map at 2048 to start as a TIFF, and then I can always resize if needed. Now I'm going to paint him. So I'll start out with some red on the belly and give him kind of a good, nice red overcoat in general, and work my way around. I'm going to use the square bracket keys to make my brush bigger, and hurry up with that red coat. I can also hit W for wireframe to turn off his wire. As you can see, his paint is fairly easy. It's very quick to bring objects in Mudbox and retexture them, or apply a new texture, or sculpt a normal map and bring it back through a live link to 3ds Max. There, he's got some good red going on, and I'll switch over to maybe a little more orange for the hands. I'm going to turn on the mirror, and I'm going to go by his x-axis, so that as I paint one side, the other mirrors across. I'll bring my brush size down, and put a little yellow color on his hands. Just to match, I'll add a little yellow on his feet as well. When I'm ready, down in the bottom of Mudbox in the lower right, we can see a bar that says Connected to 3DS Max. I'll hit Update. It will send my entire scene, that's the warning there, and export the mesh back out. In 3DS Max, which it'll call up automatically, his mesh will come back in with the new texture. There's the mesh from Mudbox sent back in with the new texture applied. Likewise, if I had created a normal map through sculpting in Mudbox, it would come across as well. It's very easy to have this link and go back and forth between the programs, seeing it in both scenes.